I think it's a great thing to be called an Orthodox. Like online, people think they know his personality. And they don't know anything about him, really. Sit. Switch. Ah, ah. Don't tank it. I am with it. No. I can tell you one out of I push him hard. I push him hard. I push Jensen uh, really hard. And, and the expectations, not as much on the result, but on the effort. I'll try the uh, acai bowl, please. You know, no one else has uh, done it fully from NorCal from when they've started to their whole pro career. I mean, some people like playing piano. Some people like getting better at beer pong. Or both. This off season, you know, never know to how much time we have. The loaded berry. Yep. I really can see myself doing that, and I have a great environment, and I, you know, I, I feel I have a lot of support too from, you know, people around NorCal and Sacramento. So it's it's really cool for me, and it's been a big part of my developmental stages for sure. Yeah, come on, check out check out the house. Okay, here's my room. Got my got my bed right here. Uh, I can always keep my bags up here. I uh, got some space in my closet, laundry, and um, I got some trophies up here on my my drawer. Yeah, the Newport one was a really cool tournament. That's actually the favorite, my most favorite place I've been to so far. And yeah, it was a, it was a good tournament. Made the finals. Oh yes, what a strike! You have to give a lot of. Commiserations to Jensen Brooksby. He'll be back. What a future he'll have, the 20-year-old. I hope to be back here again and be pushing for more of these results. So we're in the living room right now. One of my trophies I just got recently from Dallas. Oh, what a magnificent athlete this young man is. Yeah, that one's from the uh, US Open fourth round from last year, actually. His retrieval skills are unbelievable. Doing the limits of his game, really. Yep. Pushed him all the way. Reminds me of all the energy I need to have out there every day. <laughs> that was the greatest experience so far I've had, but just with that atmosphere and you know, the intensity from the crowd cheering you on, and it's, it's really cool, and it's, it's just a reminder of the moments I want to be in more often. Last uh, year or two, also, it just seems like he's getting better and better. For me, as a, seeing him you know, develop as a child into a man has been really kind of fun. You know, he's still got a ways to go, but it's really cool to see development off the court that he's learning from all of his, on the, his tennis experiences. This, this is pretty cool to me because it just reminds me of my dad's mom who you know, passed away a few years ago, and it's just really fun. I remember all the years when I was younger playing on this piano. I've learned like if I don't have any outlets, then I get more, more stressed really, and just I feel like it's more of a grind than when I go do other things to get your mind off tennis and do things you enjoy, and then I'll enjoy the training more as in, in turn. Yeah, there's there's some periods of first times on the tour that you know it takes takes time to get used to and feel more comfortable with. I think what surprised us the most, both of us was the level of distractions. You always lose, use um, more mental energy on the road is what I'm learning. Agents, you have uh, sponsors, you have media, you have uh, all this stuff got added to the team. So even now still, we're not, you know, we're not comfortable with all of that yet. And, and we're kind of learning how to manage and, and, and go through it, him and I together. I feel as these years go on and even just you know, months go on and I get more experience with these tournaments, then we'll, Joe and I will learn how to manage these situations better. Got his wrist. Back ends, give me one more series cross. Good, shuffle. That was good, kid. Well, Jay, that's the one just stay on top of. But it was. 
push. Ah. Good, nice, good ball. Good, that's it. Yeah. The road yeah. gets tough sometimes. Is we never get these type of days, right? Where you just push, 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 push. And so it gets a little, it gets a little tougher. You know, that was the most we've been on the road in a, in a row, probably close to ever. When he comes off the road, he really enjoys being back at home and just being in his own atmosphere. And the, the academy has created a culture over the years that you know, Jensen's a product of. And, and we're proud of that culture. And so, um, and the other kids have created, and players before him have created that culture. So I think um, it's all a, a, a tight-knit family, and, and you know, he and I both enjoy coming home a lot. Got Nick here, Jimmy, Javi, all coaches at my club. And then you got Casper right there. <laughs> the, the driver, that's the easiest one to hit. No, bigger, bigger one. Here? Yeah, just the biggest yeah. one. It's, a, it's like a family, right? So you argue a lot, you fight a lot, you, you cheer each other on uh, uh, a lot, you joke a lot. You know, they go to you know lunch, dinner together, they live together. So it's, it's a lot of comfortable being yourself. <laughs> August 1st. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> I, I whiffed it. <laughs> I've been waiting a, a year and a half for this moment. <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. Let's go, baby. You know, you get on the road and, and you know you don't you don't have a, a, a ton of that atmosphere. You got a lot of everybody's own teams there and you got a lot more separation there. And, and so um, when he comes home, he really, he really enjoys you know, the camaraderie of all the coaches and all the players and, and um, you know, those, those relationships. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I feel like it's really important to see family and friends when I can because you're on the road so much out of the year and especially this year and on, I'm gonna be even on the road more than last year and this is only my second full year on tour really but you know I, as I you know hopefully plan to have a lot lot more years um, it's important to you know you can you can miss home and miss miss your friends and family for sure so it's 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 definitely a big reason why I like to stay home as well and um, so it's always a great feeling for me when I can get back home and just see everyone I know and if you didn't know much about him now you really should remember the name because you're going to be hearing so much of it in the years to come now that is a man who feels like he's going places. We're extremely proud. I mean, it's it's amazing, and but mostly we're happy for him. Yeah, it's nice to see your son go out and have a goal and be able to to be successful at it. For me, I say he's <clears throat> he's living his dream. Doesn't every mom want their child to be able to live their dream? And so he's trying to do that. It's all new, but it's also very exciting. And and Jensen kind of thrives off of uh, excitement. So I think right now that, that's, that's helping. Um, I mean, it's, it's always just staying present-minded and what I can focus on each day and not really w worrying about expectations or distractions. And I think it's that simple.